I know I can pick up faster Oh my, my, I know it's so if I think Vancouver, British Columbia, along with Ray Fro, I'm James Sabalski. Vancouver's kicking off the first of an extended home stretch here, Ray. Everybody loves playing at home. You have a little more confidence. You feel a little better. You get support when things go well. Too long a home stand's not good. I think this one's just about right. Two teams hungry for two points, and we are ready to drop the puck. The Canadians start with possession as we are now underway. Montreal's got the puck against the half wall. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. And they send it right back to him. Here they are on the attack. Montreal's on the attack. Good hit on the play. Montreal's got a hold of it along the wall. Pinned up along the boards. Van Riemsdyk's taking it from his own end. Back to the blue line. And that's picked off. Puck sent over to Line. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. Van Riemsdyk's going to play it to the corner. Moves it quickly over to Van Riemsdyk. Comes up with the steal. And he gains the zone here. Here's a shot. Blocker save. They're calling him big save Dave in Calgary. David Riddick with an excellent stop. And the defenders come up with the puck. Kane's got it along the wing. And now he angles it across to Truba. Receives the pass. Sends a pass over. Oh, what a save in front. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Centering pass in front. And that goes off a player in front. Deep inside his own end. Right in front. Can he get out of pressure? Turned aside with a glove by Riddick. Great tracking. He finds the puck. He gets the glove up. Makes the save on a dangerous chance.
Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. Here's a short pass to Kapanen. Here's a chance! And that one stopped. Center's jammed up and the winger grabs the puck. Montreal's got the puck along the wall. Here's a backhand! Gives them nothing in front. Sharp reaction save. Takes a shot. Great glove save. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. And now he moves it to Nemestikov. Vancouver's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Slides the puck across to Corelli. Vancouver's got it across the line. And that's broken up. Looks to make a play over to Bugstad. Takes it across the blue line. Denies him with a save. are jammed up. Nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Excellent stick work on the play. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Kudas dangles along the line. There's a shot tipped in front with the stop. Big stop by the keeper. Marzell's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Takes the pass. Kapanen's got it against the boards. Feeds the puck to Nash. Handles the puck. And he sends it across to Martinick. The Canadians get a hold of the puck in their own end. Connor's got it in the offensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Nash. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Slides it across. Stopped by the goaltender. Monahan's won it in their own end. Takes the feed ahead from the left side. Vancouver's gained possession along the boards. Sends it across. Great defensive effort breaking up the pass. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Lifts the stick and takes the puck. Quick pass to Nemeth. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Unloads from the blue line. No room for that one to get through. Return pass. Here's a chance. Knocked off the puck. Vancouver's got control of it now from their own end. Moves it around along the half wall. And that banks off a stick. Now over to Van Riemsdyk. Montreal's got the puck along the boards. Carries it across the line. And sends it off course. Slides it on over to Van Riemsdyk. Moves it to Van Riemsdyk. The Canucks played along the wing. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Denied by the goaltender. Vancouver's won the draw. Quick feed to Kraus. Krause moves it into the attacking end. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. Quick feed down low. And now he moves it quickly to Dubinsky. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. Final minute approaching here in this opening frame. 
Dominic's moving the puck through his own zone. Slides the puck over to Kraus. They've got numbers. Vancouver's got the puck. That concludes the first period. Really, both teams still filling each other out here as we are still scoreless. Don't miss the chance to see the greatest talents in the world when they visit our city. See the official arena website for details on upcoming concerts. And while both teams get a refresher, we'll take one ourselves heading into the second period. are back at center ice and we are ready to get period number two underway still no goals in this one we'll see if that changes here as period number two is underway one period already in the books ray how have you seen this thing montreal's coaches keep patting them on the back when they come back to the bench telling them what a good job they're doing they know they've had the puck a lot they're waiting for the breakthrough Monahan's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Moves the puck. Into the corner. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Vancouver's got a hold of it against the wall. Into the offensive end now. Back at the point, they set it up with the stop. Has dropped and we are back underway. Gets the puck over to Kapanen. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Takes the feed. Moves it quickly over to Connor. Getting a little physical out there, but still holds on to the puck. Trying to escape the pressure. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. Makes the save with the glove. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. Here's an odd man rush to his teammate. Slides the puck over. Centered out in front. Vancouver's got the puck in their own end. Here's a short pass to Bunstad. Slides the pass over to Lucic. Grabbed along the board by Grabner. Takes the feed. And there's the save. Pass across to Nash. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Pass back to the point. Breaks up the pass in the defensive zone. Puts it on net. Takes it right in the chest. And there's the whistle giving him a chance to exhale. Back underway and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. From one point man to another. Comes up with a big pad save to deny. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. From the slot, fires away. Oh, and another big stop. And now he tries to get it across to Martinick. Takes the feed at the point. Gets a piece of it with the blocker. They're working really hard these days to make sure when they stop the puck, it doesn't stay in front of them. If they can't stop it and catch it, they want that puck in the corner. Montreal's got a hold of it along the wall. Here he is from the slot. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Vancouver's looking to break out of their own end. Vancouver's moving it into the offensive end. Good defensive effort to poke it away. 
Shabbat stick handling in his own zone. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Line. Sends the pass over. And now it's over to Shabbat. Montreal's got the puck here in the open ice. Puck scooped up by Ristolainen. Slides the puck to Van Riemsdyk. They've got the defense outnumbered. With some momentum driving towards the net. And somehow, someway, he comes up with a stop with his glove. Good read by the winger as the two centers tie up. Quick pass to Van Riemsdyk. Moves the puck across to Clefbaum. With possession along the wall. Huge stick save by the goaltender. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Good use of the body on the play. Here's a shot. Great save by the goaltender on that one. Vancouver's got it along the wall. A chance right in front. Blocker save. He scores! Oh, what a play as he gets his own rebound and puts it in. Nice play to follow his shot. He gets the initial shot, follows it in tight, and is able to beat the goaltender with his own rebound. Vancouver's on the board here late in the second. This is an unlikely result, James, after the way that most of the first 40 minutes has been played. They've had fewer shots, fewer chances, yet they're the only guys on the board with a goal. Moves it to Galchenyuk. Read it perfectly and breaks up the play. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Centering pass. Snaps it on net. And the stick gets a piece of it. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Feeds the puck to Hyman. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Vancouver's on the attack. Nice pass. Vancouver's got the puck against the boards. Montreal's got the puck along the wall. Slides it across to Kane. And now he angles it across to Connor. Shot on net. Blocker save. On the attack along the boards. Cliff Bomb's got it deep in the offensive end. Nearing the 40-minute mark of the game. Puck lands right back onto the blade. Takes that pass back at the point. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Now he takes it over the line. Into the corner of the attacking area. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Great read to break up the play. Hard sounds bringing the second period to an end. Vancouver's got a 1-0 lead after 40 minutes of play. They've certainly played well defensively. Third period just around the corner. Ray and I will be ready to bring all the action in moments. Welcome back, everyone. Both teams lined up at center ice, and we are ready to get this third period underway. Moment of truth for one team. Here we go. Third period is underway. Ray Ferraro is between the benches at ice level. Ray, we've got 40 minutes played so far. How have you viewed things? Montreal's players have to be feeling a little frustrated. They've had much of the time of possession, but they're still chasing the game. Turns it away. Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. Receives the pass. Toss it up in the neutral zone. Here's a shot. Makes the save. And now he moves it to Truba. Truba's got it in the offensive end. Play whistle dead because of an offside. They've been under so much pressure here in the defensive zone the last little while. They look like they're totally out of gas. This stoppage comes at the right time. The Canadians have created numerous scoring chances, but they've just run into a hot goalie tonight here early in this third period. 
Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Quick feed to Ristolainen. Let's it go! Comes up with the stop. Montreal's had a lot of good looks on goal, but they still trail early in the third. Setters jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. Carries it in. Moves the puck to Ristolainen. Moves it quickly over to DeBrusque. Along the half wall with the puck. Heads to the back of the net. Shot! Just misses! What a chance! Right in the middle! Oh. Hamannick's gonna play it against the half wall. Lowers the boom with that hit. Here's a short pass to Gerard. Holds the puck at the line. Here's a shot. Oh, what a beautiful glove save. He clearly thought he had room to get by, but it got closed off in a hurry. He took a big hit there. Montreal's got to be frustrated with how things have played out tonight, trailing in this third period. Corrales won the faceoff. Sends a pass over. Lucic has got it into offensive territory. Oh, and it goes just wide. Just wide, way wide. It doesn't matter. It's not on the net. He's got to get that at the goalie. And there's the save. Feeds it on over to Nemestikov. Here they are on the attack. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. Quick pass to Lucic. Shuts him down. Here's a chance right in the slot. Great positioning in the defensive end. Takes the pass. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Referee singling the late penalty. Looks like hooking will be the call. Let's see what the official says here. Pretty cut and dry from up here. And the official saw it firsthand with hooking the call. It's a penalty of being in bad position. And I think when you impede a player like this, they should call the hooking penalty every time. Both teams lining up for the face-off, and it's a chance to see if there's actually some power in this power play. They've been running around trying to get this game tied up. They earn a power play, and now they'll have that chance. Quick puck movement always seems to work best for them. Montreal's got it from behind the net. Handles the puck. Moves the puck along the half wall. Wrist shot from the slot. Beautiful stop with the stick. Had to be sharp. That's a great A chance. Montreal's gained possession along the boards. And he slides it quickly to Kane. Vancouver's looking to break out. Stopped by the goaltender. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. And he moves it up to Gerard. Moves the puck. Fires one. Comes up with the stop. I think he got a blocker on that one. Gets it out of his own end. Stretches one out to Kane. Kane swooping in on the attack. Here's a shot. Dropper save. The Canadians come up empty-handed on the power play. Both sides back to even strength. Well, not much they're going to be able to do about that. The power play failed. Now they go back to even strength. Montreal's failed to convert on scoring opportunities and lots of them here in this third period. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. And that's taken by the defense. It's hard not to take a chance when you're behind in the game. He turns that puck over, trying to make something out of nothing. Vancouver's across the blue line. Centering pass! Sends it quickly to Connor. Slides it back to the blue line. And that's broken up with a stick in front. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. While the setters are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Now a quick pass to Kluffbaum. Deflected away, nice defensive use of the stick there. Picked up along the boards by Davinsky. Centering pass, and they can't finish that one. Oh, he's going to be kicking himself for that. The play was there, 
He just doesn't execute that last pass for the scoring opportunity. Vancouver's got the puck against the boards. And now he tries to get it across to Hyman. Move to the middle. Knocked away. Vancouver's got it in the offensive zone. Galchenyuk's got the puck. Sends it out right in front. Oh, and he can thank his stick for that one. Vancouver's at the line. From point blank oh. range. Scores! They score back-to-back -back goals. They stay aggressive after getting the first one. They tack another one on here. Well, the only way he's stopping this one is if it hits him. As soon as the shooter went to shoot it, the goaltender dropped into the butterfly. He's looking around that traffic, hoping he can find it. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Bukestads won it. Puck picked up by Kulikov. Kulikov's got it along the wing. Montreal's got possession here in the offensive zone. Too many bodies in the way. Bukestads got it against the boards. Taken by DeBrusque. Inside the defensive zone, moving the puck. Ristolainen's lugging the puck. Montreal's got the puck along the board. Oh boy. And we got a delayed penalty coming up here. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. And there's the whistle. Let's get the call from the official here. A little too much nasty in the eyes of the official on that hit, charging the call, Ray. I think there should be more charging penalties. You travel 35 or 40 feet to hit somebody, that should be a charging penalty. And the man advantage unit goes right back to work. The power play can be so frustrating. When you get an opportunity and it doesn't go well, you start to press pretty quickly into it. Now's the time to relax, readjust, and attack again. Oh, what a stop! That is sweeping up the trash there. Good save. Off to the corner. Everybody can readjust. And manages to clear the zone. Nearing the final minute of the third. Over the line they come. The, the sense of urgency has really set in. They pulled the goalie. The extra attacker's out. Takes the feed. Slides the puck over. Comes up with the stop. Well, a big face-off here, Razor. Empty net. The face-off becomes critical. Here in the later stages of this period, Vancouver's got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. Nice save by the keeper to trap that puck in his chest. Extra attacker at one end, but an empty net at the other as this faceoff looms. Yeah, you draw the play up, you look for the faceoff win for a quick shot. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Taken along the wall by Monaghan. Trying to get it out. And they get it down. Yeah, good communication. They talk to each other. They're in the right spot. They just clear it down the ice. Here they come on the attack. Here he is in front. Moves it to Shabbat. Gets it out of his own end. Montreal's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Puts it to the front of the net. Here's a blast. Oh! Just wide of the net. It doesn't matter how close it is. If it's not on the net, it can't go in. Goalie on the bench, and the extra attacker's out for a much-needed goal. You practice this, you're ready for it, and it starts with the face-off. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. What a save! He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. That's all she wrote from this one, and he'll take a moment to appreciate. Doesn't matter when the shutout is, a goalie always feels great about himself if he can blank the other team. Played very well tonight. No shortage of tire pumping from his teammates tonight. In the meantime and in between time, he's Ray, I'm James, good night.
push back on my plans. She's waited up, Christ, I love you. I'd write off every glance that I've ever had with someone. If should this mean the start, you switch my faith now, phone off. Just sat there sifting free my B sides that I've never had with someone. Cause why pass all the times? Disciplines led me, led me to you. It's to the night, keep coming. Having lost all judgment and those dreams that we made would remind me of the ways. It was the nights of coming, and you were wrong. Hi, everybody, welcome to St. Louis. He's Ray Bro. My name is James Sabalski. St. Louis has been excellent on this homestand, and they got one more tonight. Be nice to close this off as well as the previous games have gone on this homestand. I've liked their energy. I've liked how aggressive they've been. They have stayed on it for an extended period of time. Both teams lined up in the middle. We are ready to get things underway. The Blues take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. St. Louis has the puck in the corner. Jones plays the puck, and a stick in the lane ends that threat. Stopped by the blocker. Aggressive stop out on top of the crease to make the save on a dangerous chance. Moves the puck from off the bank pass, and that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Quick feed to Pavelski. Can't connect! Takes the feed. Oh, what a hit! St. Louis has it in the open ice. Dishes it to Hedman. Edmonton's in now. And he slides it quickly to Hoffman. Comes up with the stop. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Here's a chance. We got a penalty coming up here as the officials blow the play dead. Vatnin's off to the box. Two minutes for tripping. Fishing around for the puck and he gets his stick into the player's feet. When he goes down, it's an obvious call. As they step into the face-off circle, let's see if they can take advantage on this power play. Their first power play of the game. The game is scoreless, and now they'll start offensive zone faceoff. Move the puck around, get it to the net, and try and impose your will on the other team. And manages to clear the zone. St. Louis takes it across the line. Moves it quickly over to Perron. Oh, going wide! You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. Here's a backhander. Locks it down with a stop. I think he got a blocker on that one. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Gets it out of his own end. St. Louis has possession of it now. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Johnson. Sends it over. Trying to get back on the attack now. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Here's a chance to get it out of their own end. Finally, Ray. Yeah, they do get it down the ice. I thought they held their structure pretty good. They tried to clear the puck a couple times. Couldn't get it out. Now they're exhausted. Finally, they can get a change. The Blues come up empty-handed on the power play. We're back to even strength here. And makes the save. I like the work the penalty killers did there. The power play at times looked dangerous, but they didn't give up anything. And the power play is now over. The Oilers take possession off the faceoff. Puck grab by Spezza. Here's a short pass to Hagelin. And a great save! Armia's carrying it ahead. Quick pass to Goodbranson. Stopped by the goaltender. In tight, he had to make an excellent save.
Bay resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Tosses it to Holden. Hagelin's got it across the line. Takes a shot. Beautiful glove stop on that one. Edmonton's got it in the defensive zone. Edmonton's in transition. Edmonton's got the puck against the half wall. Fantastic save! Takes it across the blue line. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. Moved out in front. Great pad save. Hoffman's got it in the offensive zone. Here he is in close. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Carries it across the line. Takes the feet at the back end. Moves it to Weber. And it's a quick pass. Scores! Quick blast. No chance. Uh, the goalie just can't keep up to this, James. The pass is in the wheelhouse. And he hammers it past the goalie into the net. Dictated play here in the first, which is why they lead. Dominated in shots, dominated in territorial play, and now with the one goal lead, they'll stretch it out if they can, going into the intermission. St. Louis gets the puck near the boards. St. Louis has it behind the net. Big save. I like the way he tracks the puck here. He's got to find it, and then he gets his body right in front of it. That's a good save. Hammers it on net. What a stop. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. And a Stop. He's right on it. Two consecutive saves. Top ones at that. With possession along the wall. McCaution's got it through center. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Keeps hold of the puck. Good Branson's got the puck along the wing. Great heads up play in the defensive zone. Offside is the call, but we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. St. Louis can build on this lead here with still plenty of time to go here in the first. Good read by the winger as the two centers tie up. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. And now he moves it quickly to Jones. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Back to the point it goes. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Sezikis. On the attack along the boards. Out front, and that's picked off in front. A simple stop with the glove by Talbot. Late goings of this period. We got a 1-0 game to this point. Center's jammed up and the winger grabs the puck. Feeds it to Hagelin. Feeds it over to Holden. Holden's got it in the corner. Inside the offensive zone, takes the pass from along the boards. And he comes up with it. Armia's got it on the offensive end. With the blast! Oh, wow! Save with the glove! This is a dangerous opportunity, and he decides to try to overpower the goalie with the slapper. No go. The Blues lead it here late in this first period. Johansson's won the draw here in the offensive zone. 
Nice bank pass off the boards. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. St. Louis looks to move the puck from their own end. Carries it in. They've got numbers. Edmonton's grab a hold of the puck. Along the half wall with the puck. Quick feed to Kreider. Stopped by the goaltender. St. Louis will likely take this lead into the first intermission unless things completely bottom out here. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Textbook stop by Bennington. Really good save. Control the rebound. Get it into the corner where you can reestablish yourself. The first 20 minutes of this one is all said and done with as the horn sounds. We've got a one nothing game here after the first 20 minutes of play. As both teams get a breather here in this first intermission, we'll do the same and get ready for period number two. Clean sheet of ice, period two is set to go. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. Well, this one underway. Ray, give us an update on what your assessment is to this point. Edmonton's got to find another gear or two or three here. They've been... Scores! No chance for the puck stopper on that one! He doesn't miss too many, James. He leads his team in goals for a reason. A two-goal lead here in the second period. Impressive play so far. Really has been. They've dominated the game because they've been able to have the puck, shoot the puck on net, and then go retrieve it. This lead is earned by the way they've played. Tries to get it over to Zabinijad. St. Louis takes possession of the puck. Zabinijad's going to play it against the half wall. Right in the slot. Knocked away. Blocker save. And he's showing up big time tonight. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Huff is caught with the hook and the official saw There's the stoppage of play. Let's see what the officials say. Pavelski's getting two for hooking. There's certain plays as soon as they happen, the red flag goes up for the official. Stick goes across the player's waist. He's looking for hooking. The game has become better since they've cracked down on obstruction, Ray. Man advantage unit is set. They've worked on the power play a lot at practice over the last couple of days. This is their first one tonight, and they'll want to execute what they've worked on, which is to win the draw and start moving the puck. The Oilers will play the puck from behind the net. Barbashev's got it into offensive territory. And now it's grabbed by McCaution. Fires it into the offensive zone. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Musa quickly over to Eller. Denies him in front. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. And manages to clear the zone. Edmonton's going to play the puck from behind the cage. And now it's over to Kreider. Here's the pass. Here's the shot and makes the save. We're still in the early stages of this period. We've got a 2-0 game here tonight. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Here's a chance to get it out. And it's a small victory for the PK unit here. Well, that's their job. Get it down the ice, get off the ice, get some new people out there. Into the offensive zone. Let's it go. Big time save with the blocker. Denies him again. Really sharp, never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. They'll dump it in and peel off for a change. Here's a short pass to Sabinajad. Oh, smart heads up Reed. The Blues have been in such good position all night long. Stick position is critical as they continue to intercept a lot of passes. Moves the puck along the half wall. 
Nice poke check. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Sends the pass over. And the officials are calling a delayed penalty here. It looks like a trip. Here comes the official's decision. Pretty cut and dry with a tripping call here. Yeah, but James, every player argues the tripping call because you feel like your stick was in the right place and the other guy stepped on it. Never your fault. And it looked like there was some late moment lobbying there and it didn't yeah, work. It doesn't work. No, though. none. As we're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. Easiest thing in the world, James. Tell somebody else to relax. The power play hasn't scored yet. They're not relaxed, and it's not easy to do, but that's the key to success. Dumps it in. The Blues gain possession along the wall. And he gains the zone here. Sends it down low. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Over the line they come. Nice pass. And that one's broken up. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. Stones him in front. St. Louis takes possession along the wall. Passes on over to Marner. Into the corner now. Here's a pass down low. And now he angles it across to Perron. And now he moves it to Pavelski. Denied by the goaltender. Still lots of time left in the period. 2-0 is the score. Ellers won a big draw on their own end. Zabinijad's out of the box. Sometimes you go on the ice with the best of intentions and it goes all wrong right away. That's how I characterize that power play. Hornfist's got the puck. Picked up along the wall by Armia. Takes the puck at the point. And now he tries to get it across to Jones. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Moves it on over to Hornquist. Great positioning by the defender. Kreider swooping in on the attack. And that's taken by the defense. Drives it to the front of the net. A big time double G. Great glove. We often talk about a goalie's reflexes. You've got to have quick hands to make a glove stop like that. St. Louis was preaching pucks on net at the morning skate earlier today, and they've executed that game plan, which is why they lead here in the second. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Feeds it down low. Receives the pass. Now a quick pass to Barbashev. Handles the puck at the point. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Gets in front of it. Sometimes you're in close. There's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. And the goaltender covers things up. All sorts of frantic action in front of the net. Yeah, everybody's scrambling around trying to help what's happening. Everybody's getting out of position. They needed some help. They got it from the goaltender. Past the midway mark in this period. 2-0 is where we sit. Lateris won the draw. Puck scooped up by Goodbranson. And he slides it quickly to Engelin. Picks off the pass in the defensive zone. From the opposite point. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Pavelski's won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. And that one's turned away. Just here in the late stages of this frame, and it's a 2-0 hockey game. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Here they come on the attack, and that's broken up with a stick in front. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Marner. Kasha's got it along the wing. Slides it across to Pavelski. Let's it fly, and he makes the save. And now it's over to Hoffman. And that one stopped. St. 
St. Louis continues to lead here in the late stages of period number two. They have been the more complete team offensively. Puck picked up by Hedman. Quick shot. Here he is on the redirect. And now he angles it across to Perron. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Edmonton's got the puck. Kreider's got it against the boards. Knocked away. Sends a pass over. Into the offensive end now. Good defensive stop with the poke check. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. And there's the wrap-up cue for period number two. Two-nothing is where we sit after 40 minutes of play. Which one of your team players has the hardest shot? Who do you think is the fastest skater? We'll answer all of those questions in our skills competition. What's in store for the third period? Let's tune in to find out just moments away. Welcome back, everyone. Both teams lined up at center ice, and we are ready to get this third period underway. Moment of truth for one team. Here we go. Third period is underway. 40 minutes into this one here. Razor, how do you see things? Edmonton's going to have to work not to get frustrated here. They've had by far the best chances. The other goaltender, though, has been brilliant tonight. And it's a quick pass to Hedman. And now he moves it quickly to Hoffman. Hennepin's carrying it ahead. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. And now he moves it to Hoffman. Takes it from the other side of the blue line. With the stop. Takes the pass. Gets the puck back onto his stick. The Oilers have it behind the cage. Peddington's gonna slow things down and up for the whistle. Well, you gotta kill the play eventually. That way everyone can get reorganized. Talbot's been perfect so far. He's kind of doing this all by himself. So busy, and he's been phenomenal tonight. Still plenty of time left in this frame, and it's a comfortable 2-0 lead we're looking at right now. And momentum on their side as they win the... He scores! Well, when it rains, it pours! And they are just coming out in buckets right now as they get three straight, really a dominating performance. Now coach is talking about getting to the front of the net, make it difficult on the goalie, take his eyes away. And he only can see the player's butts in front of him. He can't even see the puck. St. Louis keeps doing what they're doing. It's now 3-0 as they get back to center here in the third. Yeah, relentless, James. I mean, they've never taken a foot off the pedal. Every time they're over the line, the mentality is they're going to shoot. Lots of shots, and now a 3-0 lead. Johnson, by number 22. Here's an odd man rush. Time of the goal. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. And I think he's seen enough because he stops the play by covering up the puck. Oh, well, guys are going to be bent over trying to gasp for breath. They'll be in favor of that move. The Blues have built themselves a sizable lead here early in this third period. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Denies him on the play. Save is good. Better yet that that rebound doesn't stay in front of the net. It's over to safety in the corner. Quick pass to Johansson. Taken by Armia. Grabs the puck in the corner. Looks to set up at the point now. Whoa. He scores! Perfect timing. Well, they've been trying to get through. Breakthrough on this goaltender who's been running a shutout. Finally, they get one. Really good work in the offensive zone here as the shooter keeps moving around till he finds the open spot. In this case, it's goal. He's in the high slot and he hammers it home. Edmonton's still got to find two more goals, but they at least have one back. That gives them a little bit of hope, and the bench seems to have come alive a little bit. 
Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Scored by number 40, Joel Armia, assisted by number Moves it around along the half wall. Smart heads up, play to neutralize the threat. What a steal in his own end. That's going to be delivered a little quicker. Nice play by the defensive team. Hagelin's got it in the offensive zone. Across the point. And now he tries to get it across to Holden. Puck grabbed by Sasekis. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. And they'll be forced to regroup after the puck bounces out of the offensive zone. St. Louis has it near the wall. Eakins got it across the line. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Eakin. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Through center along the wing. There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play. St. Louis has about a half a period to go here as they lead it in this third period. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Throws it in. Callahan's looking to make something happen here in the corner. Stopped by the goaltender. Scooped up along the wall by Hornquist. Makes his presence known on the ice. Tries to feed it over to Barbashev. There's the physical side. Up along the wing. With possession along the wall. Jabs the puck away. Grabbed along the board by England. Takes it across the blue line. And now it's over to Goodbranson. Here's a rip! Off target! Takes the feed from the goaltender. Sent into the offensive zone. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Lifts the stick and takes the puck. Handles the puck. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Denied by the goaltender. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. Crowd's been into this one right from the get-go. It's 3-1. Moves to Sabinejad. What a great read breaking up the pass. That's a solid hit. Quick feed to Hedman. Handles it along the blue line. Too much congestion in front. Reads the play and forces the turnover. And now he angles it across to Battenen. St. Louis gets the puck near the boards. Carries it across the line. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Vatnin's got the puck in his own zone. And he slides it quickly to Kreider. We get a whistle and they'll do it all over at the other end. Yeah, of course, the team that iced the puck isn't able to change players. A rule put in a couple of seasons ago. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. On the attack along the boards. And now he moves it to Holden. Back to the blue line. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Brodeen's taking it from his own end. Pass to Holden. Now he slides it up to Brown. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Moves it quickly over to Holden. And that's picked off. They've got the defense outnumbered. Armia is going to play it to the corner. Goaltender has made his way to the bench. The extra attacker's out. They need a goal here big time. Oh, and the goalie catches a break there. Moves the puck. Along the half wall with the puck. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Well, a big face-off here, Razor. Empty net, a face-off becomes critical. Getting into the later stages of this period, it's a 3-1 hockey game. Lots of offense already. Wrist shot from the slot. He scores! I believe a colleague of ours likes to call those back-to-back. -back. Yeah, the coaches want you to stay aggressive after you score. They do that, and they're able to put another one up on the board. Oh, with the goalie crowding over on the bench now, 
they finally punch through. Good work to get to the puck, retrieve it, finally they put it into the net. Edmonton's come back with a big one here in the third. Grind away, dig away, now you got a chance, only trailing by one goal. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Here's a short pass to Eller. They desperately need a goal. The net is empty and the extra attacker's out. Oh, they forced the turnover. This could turn into something. Big time stop there. Weber's got it in the defensive end. Quick pass to Sezikis. 18 seconds left. Find some space in the corner. With the stop. No, it's in. It's in. Looks like he had it, but not the case. That's really good work for them as they pressure on at the offensive zone, finally get the puck into the front of the net, and in it goes. A critical draw here. Spetsas won the draw. Takes the feed from off the wing. Takes the feed. Makes the save. There's the horn to signal the end of the third period. We are still tied. Hey, hockey fans. Follow the beat all season long on the radio for every minute of play by play action, both home and away. Or listen to the online. Overtime is just moments away. It's happening next. ramping up in this barn. You can just feel it right now. Moment of truth for both sides. Sudden death over time. Let's get it on. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Shot deflected. Goalie makes the save. There's another stop. No, sir. That's why a goalie can never relax. He makes one stop. Now he's got to be sharp to make another. St. Louis gains a hold of possession. Marner's going to play Whoa. against the half wall. Comes up with a stop. Finnington's able to make the save, as we see here. This is a good scoring chance, but he's in good position. Underway and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Keeps possession. Oh, he might be shaking his head after that one. Pretty good shot. Nice delivery of the shot, but the goaltender beats him. Puts it on net. Completely misses on the play. You don't even make the goalie work here. You've got to make him have to do something in the net. Coughs it up at center. Man, they've worked the puck around so well on this shift. They've totally worn out the defending team. About two things are going to happen here, it seems like. They're going to either take a penalty or they're going to give up a goal. This is a great shift. And that's picked off in front. Carlson's the victim of a hook penalty coming up. It's a two-on-one. Stick save. Let's get the call here. Johansson's going off for hooking. I guess at a certain point you got to let the guy go, but he worries that he's out of position, so he tries to slow him down with a hook. Pretty cut and dry call. A daunting task looms for the penalty-killing unit here on this four-on-three man advantage. Everybody wants to be the hero in overtime, and now you've got a power play, a real chance to put this game into your back pocket. Engelin's got it on the offensive end. Takes a shot, and there's the save. Gets it over to Marner. 
Shuts him down. Gets it out of his own end. Approaching the final 60 seconds here at Marner. One minute left. Slides it across. And now it's grabbed by England. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Hammers a shot and rings the iron. Behind the net, looking for the transition game. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. It's going to take just one mistake now, and this game will probably be decided. It's not there. That's an outstanding save. Ellers won the draw here in the offensive zone. Moves it to Russell. Slides the puck over. Holds the puck at the line. Moves the puck along the half wall. Takes the feed. Carries it in. Sends it across. Comes up with the stop. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Comes up with a big stop. The Blues get a hold of the puck. And the puck's back on his blade here at center. Let's it go. Makes the stop with the blocker. Well, there's the horn bringing an exciting OT to an end. Wow, back and forth. But we'll head to a shootout. Looking for a way to show love for your team? Don't forget. And as the two sides decide on who will line up in the shootout, we'll take a quick break and get ready for the moment of truth next. Welcome back, everybody. These two teams have remained deadlocked after three periods, after overtime, but not for much longer. Time for the shootout. First shooter's about to go, looking to set the tone here in this shootout. And that's turned aside by Talbot. shootout and he comes up empty handed on that one you stand out at center ice and you're ready you got your plan and sometimes you just don't execute it next shooter for Edmonton number 68 Mike Hoffman pokes it away excellent hand eye coordination Pavelski set to go here at center. Still no goal scored so far in this shootout, though. And makes the save. Sabinijans, the first skater up for round number three. We still haven't got a goal so far in this shootout. And he comes up with it. Chance to be all that in a bag of chips if he can finish it. Gets a stick on it to make the save. Vatnin's at center ice, and he gets the next crack to try to finally get a goal here. Oh, what a save in front! Can't get it to go, and that could have been a huge opportunity there. Really could have spread the shootout out a little bit if he's able to score. He doesn't get it done. Jones is at center ice. He can turn out the lights in this building with a goal. Scores! And that'll do it! He's at the end of the shootout, and that's the closer. He doesn't make a mistake, and he puts this away. It needed a shootout, and that's where we find our winner in this one. Once you don't solve it in regulation time, now it comes into this individual contest. 
They had the better shooters. Their goalie was better. It's their game. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us tonight.
so just lately I've been beat down I picked my head up put it up in the clouds wrap my dreams round so me so clear how can it feel so far but so near it's a house of the most all the fun we will play stay I'll be blinded by lights and I'll be Edmonton, Alberta. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Well, they used to call this place the City of Champions, and they're hoping to get back to that once again, Ray. Yeah, it's been a couple decades climbing back from those unbelievable years of Wayne Gretzky and company. Opening face-off is set to go. Referee Shil Levesque is ready to drop the puck. The Penguins take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. The Oilers ready to go on the attack, and makes the easy glove save. Great tracking, he finds the puck, he gets the glove up, makes the save on a dangerous chance. Offense is own face off, and he wins the draw. Tape to tape feed on the blue line. A shot! A quick one here! And look at this! The first goal of the game! Man, I don't even think anyone's really settled into the game yet. And already we have the game's first goal. He doesn't need too many chances to score. That's one of the reasons he leads his team in goals. He's got a great finish when he gets the opportunity. on the board here and they've got the home crowd right into it early aggressively out of the gate they didn't give the opponent any time to get settled at all i love their start puck scooped up by headman quick feed to batten it number 68 hoffman hoffman's got him along the boards pittsburgh's got a hold of it along the wall works it across to aho here's a chance a two-on-one to his teammate and that's broken up Back at the point, they set it up. Right to the middle! That's a great heads-up play to break up the pass. Hedman's got it into offensive territory. Moves right to the middle! He scores! They didn't sit back after getting that first one. They piled a back-to-back -back goal on here. No way sometimes for the goalie to catch up to the pass. It's too quick. It's one-timed into the net. left in this period. Edmonton's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Puck picked up by Russell. Russell's got the puck. Dropped him in the open ice. Taken by Armia. Moves it quickly over to Russell. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. And now he tries to get it across to Armia. Shot! And that goes off the post and out! Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Sends the pass over. Stopped by the goaltender. Picked up along the boards by Skinner. Pittsburgh's gained possession along the boards. Stopped by the goaltender. Edmonton still got time here in this first period to increase this lead. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Nice pass. Moves it around along the half wall. 
receives the pass. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. On the doorstep and makes the save. Taken along the wall by Stepan. Under all sorts of pressure in his own end with the puck now. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Spisa. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Over the line they come. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. And that puck leaves the zone. Lewis looks around. Tosses it on to Barbashev. Puck sent over to Goodbranson. And now it's over to Callahan. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it against the wall. Chernak's got it through the neutral zone. With possession along the wall. Heads to the back of the net. Scrum along the boards. Hedman's moving the puck through his own zone. England swooping in on the attack. Lays into the body on the play. Knocked away. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Directs it on over to Ryan. Now a quick pass to Kucherov. Kucherov's got it along the wing. Blocked in traffic. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Great stick work with the steal. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Moves it over to Laterra. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. The Penguins gain possession in their own end. Here they come on the attack. Sends a pass over. Bogosian's got it against the boards. Quick shot. That goes wide. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Russell's got it in the offensive zone. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. And here comes the judgment from the official. Sabinashad's been nabbed for tripping. Pretty easy call for the referee to make as you're fishing around for the puck. He's focused in on the play, and when the player goes down, his hand will go up. Man advantage unit is set. It'll be their initial power play of the evening, James. The best power plays, they move the puck and move their feet at the same time. You'll force the penalty killers back a little more defensively than they'd like to be. Pittsburgh's gained possession along the boards. Goalie plays it up. Corpusalo's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Edmonton's got the lead here late in this first period. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Picked up along the wall by Laterra. Denied by the goaltender. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. Sends it over. Big time stop. Slides the puck down low. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Officials blowing the play dead. We've got a penalty on the way here. Mata's going to get two for delay of game as he throws the puck over the glass. Well, that wasn't the plan. He's no. just trying to clear the zone, and all of a sudden, the thing's up in the 15th row. Face-off looming, and it's a five-on-three man advantage here. Any five-on-three will tell you if it's successful. They're aggressive. They move the puck, and they attack the net. They use their extra numbers around the crease, not on top. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Quick pass across to Fabry. What a great read breaking up the pass. And manages to clear the zone. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. Miller's carrying it ahead. Here's a shot. Gets in front of it. In the final moments of this period... We've got a 2-0 game here tonight. Buck is dropped and we are back underway. Right up the gut, here they go. Sends it in on the attack. Here's a short pass to Aho. Aho's got it across the line. Quick pass to Ryan. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Shot! Oh! 
take home 9 1 1 on that robbery with the glove. And that's broken up with a stick in front. And the PK unit gets their man out of the box. Well, they'll have to regroup after that. The power play doesn't cash in. Opportunity lost for them. There's the whistle as the puck heads out of play. Man, he got rid of that puck in a hurry. But the goaltender was even better. The glove makes the nice stop. Edmonton's execution has been on point so far here in this first period. Ryan's one possession. Takes it across the blue line. Puts it towards Whoa. the net. They score! When the goaltender gets into the butterfly, he's just trying to take away as much of the net as he can. He's got lots covered, not enough as he gets beaten for a tally. Johansson's won it. Puck grabbed by Russell. And now he angles it across to Johansson. Big chest save as he gobbled that one up with the trapper. The Oilers have been the better team so far in this first period. They've had multiple scoring opportunities and as a result have the lead. While the setters are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Just wide! They say it's a game of inches, James. If that puck is a couple of inches to the side, that hits the post and goes in. Well, this one's so far living up to the hype as the first period comes to an end. Well, good opportunity here for both sides to get refreshed and recharged. We got a 2-1 game here after 20. Second period still to come. We'll take a quick pause and be right back with more action. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Second period set to go. Here we go. Middle frame now underway as the puck drops. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? Edmonton's been just about perfect so far. They've got the one goal lead. A lot of it is territorial control. They've got the majority of the shots. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Carries it across the line. Edmonton's got it now. On the attack along the boards. Pass back to the point. Slides that one right across the blue line. And that one's turned away. With all kinds of traffic, he grabs the puck here inside his own end. Levels him with the hit. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Here they are on the attack. Batman's got it to the side. Edmonton's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. They fight for it along the boards. And the puck's not loose. And now he moves it to Kasha. Scooped up along the wall by Kasha. Deflect. Scores! Mika's the finish and puts it in. He's probably got about two seconds from the time that puck's delivered to find it. He can't see it, so he drops into the butterfly and hopes it hits him. The Oilers have now gone ahead by a pair here in this second. Stretching out the lead here in the middle frame gives you a little bit more flexibility on the bench. The coach can use his whole lineup. And that one's picked off in the neutral zone. Cage setting up against the wall. Great little poke check by the goaltender there. Along the half wall with the puck. Moves it to Miller. And he makes the save. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. Edmonton's been the better team here over the last few minutes. Increasing their lead to two. And now it's grabbed by Mata. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Looks to get the puck over to Mata. 
Kreider's going to play it against the half wall. Pucks it in deep, and they'll make a change. Dished on over to Lewis. And that's picked off. In all alone. Oh, the puck was like an anchor for the forward. He's got a breakaway, but he gets caught from behind. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Chase right in front. Oh, a clutch save. Bennington's able to keep the score the same. He turns away a slot shot. Nice puck check inside the attacking zone. Snaps one here on the slot. Comes up with the stop as he got a piece of the blocker on it. High quality chance, high quality save. Ryan's won the draw. Rips it. Oh, what a beautiful glove save. Ryan's won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. Barbashev's got it on the offensive end. Loses his balance on the play. Moves the puck along the half wall. Takes the pass. Callahan's got the puck. And forces a huge turnover here with the steal. And that one stopped. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. It's a two-goal lead we're looking at with the score 3-1. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. Carries it in. Puck lands back onto a stick. A little rock'em, sock'em on the play. With the stop. Armia's lugging the puck. Moves it around along the half wall. Keeps hold of the puck. Quick shot, turns it away. This is a quality chance that the goaltender turns aside right from the slot. Skinner's trying to brace himself. He knows the hit's coming, but man, does he get level. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Feeds the puck up to Eberle. Slides the puck ahead to Alexiak. With possession along the wall. Handles the puck. Tees it up from the blue line. Oh, what a stop. Great defensive stick work on the play. Armia's got it into offensive territory. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Moves the puck. Kreider's got it along the wing. From the slot, wrist shot. Oh, denies him. With Dishes it to Kucherov. Across to Archibald. Stopped by the goaltender. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. And he slides it quickly to Sezikis. Shot! Blocker save! Late goings of this period. Been a pretty good as the two centers tie up. Over the line. And he takes a shot. Stopped by the goal. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. From the slot. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Puck scooped up by Hoffman. Slides the puck over. Here's a chance. Moves the puck over to Miller. Reads the pass perfectly and picks it off. Sezikis plays it against the boards. Stops it with the paddle. Taves gains the zone. Reads it perfectly in the defensive end. Right up front. And that's picked off in front. And that'll do it for period number two. As we hit the second intermission, it's a 3-1 hockey game. If you are the holder of the winning ticket, please take it to our customer service kiosk in section 144 on the
Third period is just around the corner, so don't even think about putting that controller down. Welcome back, everyone. Both teams lined up at center ice, and we are ready to get this third period underway. Moment of truth for one team. Here we go. Third period is underway. There's the whistle stopping play penalty coming up here. Well, the official's going to give him two minutes to think about that one. Yeah, you can argue for a few seconds, James, I guess, but you already know at this point you're going to sit down. Edmonton's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. They've worked on the power play a lot at practice over the last couple of days. This is their first one tonight, and they'll want to execute what they've worked on, which is to win the draw and start moving the puck. Takes the feed at the point. That's a great heads-up play to break up the pass. Puck picked up by Alexiak. Pokes it away in his own end. Quick feed to Alexiak. Takes the feed. Wrist shot from the slot. Scores! Not the special teams here that we expected to deliver. No, this is a real turning point in the game here as the shorthanded group capitalizes gets on the board. I don't think the goaltender gets a look at this at all, James. He just drops into the butterfly. He's hoping the thing hits him through that traffic. Pittsburgh's third period deficit suddenly doesn't seem so insurmountable now. You can almost see the difference in the bench and the body language. They know they've got a chance. Taken by Barbashev. Denied by the goaltender. Flashes the leather right in the slot on a difficult chance. Time of the goal, one minute, six seconds. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The Penguins still trail by a goal here, but they are back into this one, only down by one. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Sends the pass over. Kasha stick handling in his own zone. Hoffman's got it against the boards. Moves it quickly over to Zabinijad. Shots it down! And tries to make a diagonal pass to Miller. Edmonton's grabbed a hold of the puck. Power play expires, and they got to be left shaking their heads as they fail to convert and serve up a shorthanded goal. Well, they're not going to think too much about that. You, will, you want to at least generate a little momentum on your power play. Not only did they not score, they gave up a shorty, which is always deflating. Stopped by the goaltender. The Oilers have put a lot of pucks on net, and as a result, they lead it early in this third period. Ellers won the faceoff. Here's a short pass to Eller. Here they come on the attack. Here's the pass, and that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Puts it on net with the stop. Edmonton's done a wonderful job putting a lot of pucks on net, and they lead it early in this third period. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Pittsburgh's gained possession along the boards. Quick pass to Vatnin. Great positioning in the defensive end. He's trying to do too much with the puck there. They're already ahead. This is a time for safety. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Knocked away. Takes that pass back at the point. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Nice pass. Into the offensive end now. And it's a quick pass to Sezikis. Kucherov swooping in on the attack. Moves it to Chernak. Pass right on the doorstep. Receives the pass. And a great save. Oh, I like this stop here. He makes the save. He looks in control. And the rebound's 30 to 40 feet away. Quick feed to Hedman. 
Right in front of the net. Right in front with the shot. There it is. He scores. All over the rebound. And he taps it in. Quick shot on the first attempt, but that rebound came right back to him. And he's able to settle it, put it into the net before anyone else can stop him. More than half the period left to play. Edmonton's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Ryan's won the draw. Edmonton's got control of it now from their own end. They've got numbers. Gets the puck back onto a stick. And now he moves it quickly to Mata. Turns it away on the slap shot. And officials right on top of that one, calling for a slashing penalty, it looks like. On the attack along the boards. And now it's over to Ajo. And that's broken up. And he slides it quickly to Archibald. Puts it up front. Right in the low slot. Takes a He scores! On the rebound. Lights the lamp for the goal. The rebound snapped away. What a nice shot. But the goalie's got to do a better job cleaning up that rebound. You can't leave it right there. Pittsburgh's got one back here, yes. Ray. How big is that? Well, it does a lot, James. It changes your mindset. It changes the way you approach this. And you don't have to be reckless trying to get just one goal. Oh, and a good heads-up defensive play. Costs it up in the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Miller. Taves has the puck against the half wall. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Net knocked off. It's mooring. We got a whistle here stopping the play. The Oilers have been the aggressor offensively tonight as they continue to lead in the third. While the setters are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Hoffman's got the puck in his own zone. Here's a short pass to Savinajad, and the puck skips away after that move. He's got good hands, but I think he overdoes it a bit here. Now he doesn't have the puck anymore. From the place 99 made famous. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. And he gains the zone here. Here's an odd man rush. Centered out in front. Grand larceny on that stop right there. Corpusalo's made a desperation stop there. A dangerous chance. Edmonton's been the better team tonight. They have turned good defense into solid offense. And they lead here in the third. Lateras won the draw here in the offensive zone. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the boards. Sends a pass over. Takes a shot. Makes the save. Edmonton's not far from the finish line here as they lead it late in this third. Setter's jammed up and the winger grabs the puck. Nice save by the keeper to trap that puck to his chest. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Takes it across the blue line. Fires one on goal. Makes the save. What a reaction with the blocker. Grabbed along the board by Everly. Let's it go. Blocker save. Long lead pass to Armia. Good check, frees the puck up. Edmonton's ready to go on the attack. Along the half wall with the puck. Cuffs up possession of the puck. Slides it diagonally to Kucherov. Pass right in front. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Johansson's carrying it ahead. Quick 
pass to Kreider. And now he angles it across to Everly. They've got the defense outnumbered. Tees off the one-timer. Denies him. He got all of it. Less than 60 seconds left here in the final frame. Looking to make something happen along the boards. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Denies him on the play. Picked up along the boards by Eller. Puck grabbed by Aho. And now he moves it to Lewis. fabry has got it in the offensive zone. Oh, great glove save. Where'd that come from? He makes the glove stop right from the slot. That's a dangerous chance. Goalie on the bench and the extra attackers out for a much needed goal. You practice this, you're ready for it, and it starts with the face off. Off the draw and a nice job locking up his opponent. Centering pass. And now he tries to get it across to Taze. Carries it across the line. Fires into the empty net. Slides the puck over to Miller. And in the middle of the neutral zone. What a stop as he puts out the fire. Takes the pass. Quick pass. Wide open net. And free. I got two of these in my career. I was never out at the end of the game. Good 400 goals and only scored two empty netters. Yeah, when we were protecting the lead, it was safest with me sitting down. What an indictment. Oh, yeah. They'd really have to screw this up now, James, to lose. The empty netter should put it away. The Oilers add the insurance marker, which pretty much seals the deal on this one tonight, Ray. Well, their opponent pulled the goalie. They're trying to pressure to get the time goal, but it backfired. And the empty netter puts it away. And that's all she wrote from this one here tonight. Great, when you look at the initial score of this one, it'll look like a decisive victory, but this really wasn't the case until the end. No, once they give up the empty net goal, it becomes a two-goal spread. This thing is over. Man, I hated being on the ice for empty net goals against. They stink.